Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I have a very quick show and tell for you guys. So today's wig review is brought to you by GlamourTress.com and the wig that I'm going to be showing you guys is Sensational's Tuscany and this is their natural curved part lace wig um, and I have it in the color TP1B slash 30 slash 27. So it has a dark root that looks kind of like a number four and then it goes into this blonde color and then it goes back to brown like a lighter brown than the root. Um, so the cap construction is normal. Two combs in the front, comb in the back, adjustable straps. The cap size to me feels on the smaller side. Um, now this is not the style I typically go for, uh, but I did want to try something different because it's summer and I wanted to try some color with curls. Yeah, so this um, Tuscany is originally a very popular wig by Sensational, half wig by Sensational, but um, they recently made a lace front version of Tuscany. So um, I did want to try it out and Originally when I tried this, I tried this wig on last week and I tried to film this video and I was not feeling it. I tried it as a side part and it is a lot of hair. This wig kind of reminds me of Keytron that I tried like three years ago and that didn't work out. But I feel like this is a little bit more tame than Keytron is. Um, yeah, I did spray it down with water just to take away some of the poofiness of the wig. Um, I'm six feet tall and this falls on me about um, probably 26 inches long. Here's my belly button right here and this is where the wig falls on me. So this is what it looks like in all angles. So front, all the hair to the front. Then all the way around. I feel like it's growing on me because I told you guys I didn't like it when I tried it on last week but I had to put a lot of work into this wig to make it to my liking. Um, I did gel my edges down so that the hairline would look more natural. Um, I put some pressed powder in my parting space and I did add a little bit of layers around my face. I didn't take off any of the length. I was thinking about cutting it to like shoulder length, which might be really cute, but as of right now, I'm gonna keep it longer. I wanna keep it long as of right now. I don't know if I said it already, but the cap size is on the small side. I haven't gotten any, yeah, I do. This wig is gonna tangle, but it's curly hair and I don't, it's more of a wave, but with curly and wavy hair, I don't really run my hands through it like that, but I am getting tangling and I am getting shedding from this wig. So be warned about that. Um, it does have shine to it and I spray some dry shampoo onto the top of the, the top of the wig. Um, let's see. And that's about it. Overall, I think it is kind of hard to work with, but it does give off a cute look though. I don't recommend it for everyone. If you're willing to put the time into it and you're into big hair that's really long, then this could be a good option for you. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll have links to where you guys can purchase this wig in the description box. I want to thank Glamour Tress for sending me this wig to review for you guys. And I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time I do another upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.